I'm speaking with Heather Millen with the Upper Level Pottery and Art Gallery in Vermilion. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. So the opening day was September 1st. Can you explain on what's all involved with this gallery? Uh, we have all mediums of art there. We have uh, painters, we have sculptors, we have, um, I'm a potter, so I have pottery there. We have artists that also do pottery. Uh, we have metal work, uh, all, all kinds of, of mediums of art there. Now with this art gallery, was it challenging dur during COVID-19? Was there lots of support on the opening day from residents? Yes, a lot of support. Because of COVID, no uh, shows were happening, no sales were happening for the artists. So everybody was indoors in their own homes with their art and no, nowhere to showcase. And were there any other safety guidelines you were following for COVID-19? Just the regular regulations, uh, hand sanitizing, uh, distancing, uh, just the regular. Okay, and is there other ways that people can support the new art gallery online? We don't have anything set up online as of yet. Uh, it's the artists take care of their um, inventory, so it, it's easier to have uh, people buying in in on site. Okay, and can you kind of say why you think it's important to have this new upper level pottery and art gallery now in Vermilion? What is the importance of it? It supports the arts. It adds uh, a different element to the downtown. Uh, we have a good art community in town and around in our in the other uh, folk communities around us. So. It's just uh, supportive, supportive to the artists, to the businesses. And has there been quite a bit of artists in the community than you expected? There is a lot, a lot. We're full, uh, which I did not expect uh, to be full right away. I was thinking it would take a few months, but we're, we're pretty full right now. No more wall space, but we do have floor space available. And how did this idea for a new pottery and art gallery come up? It's uh, an idea I've had for a while, just no, no way to uh, allow it to happen um, until now with uh, Tannis and Toll and Cochrane. They bought the Craig's building and renovated it and added businesses, open businesses. So they were looking for something to go up upstairs. Uh, and because of the light and the windows and the beautiful environment, it, the gallery seemed to be the best fit. So just us talking about it and the ideas came out and, and the gallery just happened that way. And how long of a process was it to get it finally open for the community? From start to finish, it was six weeks. So it was very fast. Uh, without the community support, without uh, all of the support from Tannis and Toland, I wouldn't have been able to do it. But uh, there still to be a need for it, and everybody was on board and very supportive. Perfect. Well, is there anything else you'd want to add for residents to know about concerning this new art gallery? Uh, just that we're open noon till 6 during the week. Uh, Fridays were open 10 till 6, and Saturdays 10 till 5. Perfect. Well, thank you for joining me today, Heather, and best of luck to this new art gallery in the future. Great. Thank you so much.